What's up Hans family and welcome to day 30 of Hanzoween. Oh my gosh, this is the second to last tutorial. That is insane. Today's tutorial is a little sister from Bioshock. One, because it's been really requested and two, because Bioshock is the shit. Of course I'm gonna do that. Also, sorry, my voice is a little raspy. I just got back from traveling, but uh, getting a little sick, but I'm kind of into it. I kind of like the sultry raspy Jordan voice. Anyways, all product details will be listed down below as usual. Let's get started. I have a ponytail on, which I usually don't, so obviously I gotta do a sweet little hair flip, clearly. And for the base of our face, we are gonna be mixing some cream foundation, and oh my gosh, look how dirty my white cream paint is, woo! Blend those together to get a nice pale foundation shade, and I mix just the tiniest bit of black to get a very light gray. I buff this into my skin in pretty much downward motions with a flat kabuki brush, going over my ears and on part of my shaved head and bringing that down onto my neck as well. Anywhere that your skin is gonna show through your costume, cover that-ish. Set that with a generous amount of powder and oh, I realized that I should have covered my brows at first. So if you're doing this, cover your brows first off. You could not cover your brows and just leave them, but she does have kind of shorter cutesy brows, so you know. Just as usual, using a glue stick to press my hairs up and back into the direction they grow against my skin and between each layer using a little bit of water to smooth it down. This helps so that the glue doesn't get chunky at all. You can see with the foundation it looks really gross, but we, may, we make it work by powdering it generously and then adding on a little bit of a more tan kind of orange colored concealer. This will correct any darkness that our brows come through. If you have really dark brows, you're probably gonna wanna do this no matter what with an orange correcting concealer, but I usually am able to just throw on some foundation on top and be good. After that's powdered, I then go with just a little bit of the white cream paint mix the foundation to highlight over top the brows and to highlight all of the high points of the face. Grabbing a fluffier brush and Bedrock from Makeup Geek, this eyeshadow, I am going to just kind of add a little bit of color to the perimeter of the face and to contour out just a little bit. I'm doing so in stippling sporadic motion so it looks a little more distressed and grungy. She doesn't have a contour and has cute little angelic round cheeks, but... <laughs> I ain't about to accentuate my round ass face. Since we went through the hassle of covering our brows, obviously now we gotta draw them back on. I went and looked at a reference picture and her eyebrows go about halfway through to her eyes. So I'm just drawing that out with the bedrock shadow to get a general outline and then darkening it with a brow pencil just because the shadow wasn't sticking on top of the glue quite like I wanted. You can use pretty much any color brow pencil if you want. I used brown, but since I kept my application super, super light, it pretty much does look like a very light kind of gray. Everything is all about your application. If you're light-handed, you can make pretty much any color fucking work. Don't want our lids getting all creasy, so I'm setting that with some eyeshadow. This is Bone from Anastasia. And look how fast I fucking grabbed that brush. Like, what the hell? I had to slow that down for us. Putting a base shadow down before you add your other shadows will just help your other shadows blend nicely on top. So now going back in with that bedrock and putting that all over our lid and blending up a little bit over our natural eyebrow and bringing that down underneath our eye too, keeping that same sporadic kind of blending movements. For some red tones under the eyes, I'm using a red eyeshadow. I was going to use some alcohol paints to create a little bit of veins, but I thought I'd keep it, to keep it just makeup so that anyone would be able to make it work. I did these in little tiny spots, especially focusing around under the eye. It almost looks like under the skin veins, but more so like little blood splatters. Again, just looking at her reference picture of what her eyes look like and adding some black here and there around the actual eye to darken. Really intensify those little dots that we made with more of that black shadow, keeping with those sporadic movements. And if you ever add too much, you can always tap it out because since we are working on cream paint, you can really make that shadow just disappear a little bit if it's too dark. Doing this will just make your skin look a little irritated and give you more of that undead zombie look. To give the illusion that our eyes are a little more rounded, I added a little bit of black shadow just in the center of the lid in a circular motion and contoured my nose just a tiny bit with a very light application of that bedrock shadow. Just doing so on the two sides of my nose so that that highlight was right towards the center. Also added just a little bit of shadow to my laugh lines. And moving on to the lips, I'm adding cream paint all over them since my lips had pretty much eaten up all the cream paint before and adding a shadow underneath the bottom lip. I was going to keep the lips pretty pale, but I decided they needed just a smidge of color. I'm dabbing on a little bit of pink liquid lipstick. What this will do is give you more of a wash, but you could use pretty much any kind of lipstick you'd like. 
darkening around the edges with that same shadow we used earlier and darkening the inner portion too. This will give you more of that kind of pouty bitten effect. Highlight the centers, a little bit of white cream paint for that ombre effect and though she is not actually highlighted and shimmery whatsoever, thought I'd add just a little bit. This is our rendition of a little sister, okay? If we want her to be shimmery, she can be goddamn shimmery. Lining the tops of my eyes just a bit with my girl Lex's liner and not winging it out because we don't want cute little elongated eyes. This is just to help conceal the lash line that we're gonna put down. Of course, using Risqué by Coco Lashes, my favorite lashes of absolute all time. But first, gotta coat our lashes in mascara, top and bottom, and then pop those suckers on. I did put on my costume and I'm just now adding on the color to my neck and my arms wherever, again, my skin does show through. And just like we did on our face, you want to kind of grunge that up and make you look a little undead, adding some of that gray shadow all over our features and around the neck. Her dress is all kind of dirty, so I'm just taking a sea sponge and some dark brown body paint and dotting this all over the costume, stippling it onto the collar and bringing it up onto my face just a little bit so it's a full cohesive look. I then continued to tease the living shit out of my ponytail so it looked like it was nice and big and fluffy. Took a little bit of a white ribbon that I found and just tied it around. She is not wearing tights, she has bare ass skin, but if you're wearing this off for Halloween, it's gonna be fucking cold, I'm sure. I put on a white opaque pair of tights and then just grunged that up too. Popped in my yellow screen contacts, these are from Camo Eyes. And you, my dears, are done. I got this dress from Amazon, I ripped off the little gold buttons that were on it, and then I glued on some big white buttons. Ordered this apron from Amazon as well. But again, I'll have everything linked down below too, so that you guys can go check that out if you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you like this tutorial. I like it a lot, it was really fun to do. I love me some video games, so I'm all about that life. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you guys for being with me through Hanzaween. I can't believe tomorrow's the last day. Oh, I just love the fuck out of you, and I'll see you tomorrow.